Glenn Clark now with Amherst coach John Thompson after his team falls 17-16 to RIT on uh, game three of day one of the Mustang Classic. Coach, I, I know it's tough because you're on the losing end, but I, you know, I'll start the same way that I started with, uh, with Jay Kuhn. What a lacrosse game. What an unbelievable game from both teams from start to finish. Yeah, it was. And, and uh, in many ways, I wouldn't have expected anything different from these two teams. Um, you know, they had a fire under their belly, you know, for our game last year. Um, and we had a fire under our belly to, to sort of prove who we are. Um, you know, we didn't play particularly well last week and thought we got a lot better this week in practice, you know, despite some hairy conditions up in Amherst, right. Massachusetts with the weather. But, um, you know, thought we thought we fought you know really well in practice this week and and wouldn't have really expected anything differently than the game that we got tonight um you know jake jake's a really good coach they've got some really good talent and you know the stars really did shine through in tonight's game for both teams it was fun the ebbs and flows of this one you get out to a big lead in the first half they battle their way back into it they take a five goal lead um, when you've when you've allowed like an 8-0 run in a lacrosse game, how do you get a team to get back on their horse and go get back within a goal in the fourth quarter? Yeah, um, I mean, I think one of the things that RIT does so well is first time ground balls. You know, when when they get these chances, they they finish the ground balls. And so in the middle of the second quarter, in particular, um, you know, at the faceoff stripe, it was sort of a 50-50 battle. You know, at the actual stripe itself, but the wings, 30 did a fantastic job on the wings for them. And so in the second half, we made a few adjustments, and our guys really started picking the yeah. ball up off the deck in the second half and really made that a 50-50 battle, and the tide started changing a little bit. Um, and, you know, so I think even in that fourth quarter, we started winning a few draws, and, and we were able to get ourselves back in it. But, um, you know, the one thing I was m most proud of our guys about is there was never a moment where we didn't believe mm -hmm. we could win that game. And that's that's pretty good moxie for later in the year. What's remarkable is you have a game where there's so many goals scored, and yet your goalie was fantastic. He was really, really great throughout the game. No question, Cody. Cody played really well. He's he's seeing the ball, you know, in practice really well right now. And I actually thought both goalies played really well. Their goalie didn't, you know, start great, uh, but you know, when we're down 16-15 with a minute left, he makes a big big boy save yep. um you know and and really that game goes 16 16 and he makes a really big save instead it stays 16 15 and we've got to pressure out and then go down 17 15 so you know i thought both goalies played pretty well and, and he made some big saves and some big moments but really proud of cody i mean he he, he played really well outstanding today. absolutely outstanding uh the experience being a part of this mustang classic you know just what an unbelievable event it continues to be it is and coach canabine and, and the whole stevenson crew does such a good job of putting it together and uh, you know, I think this is the atmosphere we wanted. You know, we wanted a big time atmosphere and we wanted big time opponents, and, you know, we got what we asked for. Yep. And we got another big one tomorrow. Tomorrow, absolutely. It's, it's going to be really fun. I'm not all that familiar with Lynchburg, actually, and so I'm looking forward to getting to watch them in a little bit here. I know they're really well coached, I know they're big and strong and athletic, and. You know, who else would you want to be playing on day two? Hey. So it's yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, when you're tired, nothing like a big yeah. athletic team, no doubt about that. Hey, Coach, thanks for taking a couple minutes for us, and uh, best of luck tomorrow against the Hornets. Thanks very much for having us. He is Coach John Thompson from Amherst. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.com.